is supercharged number 2019 on this original battery pack. Hello, welcome back. This is day two of the safety score. We're gonna launch my Tesla app. And we're gonna see how I've done it over the last day. And remember, you have to be on iPhone, doesn't work on Android. And you have to update your app. Safety score, there it is right there, beta. Yesterday it was like 89, was it something like that? Which surprised me, I'll have, what? Mm. How, it went, now it's up to, wait, maybe it was 98 mm. yesterday, but I checked out the video. Now it's 99. This is for two days, September 25th to the 27th. And I just had a, an issue, actually, Denise and I were talking about it because I was driving down this highway in New Hampshire that has these blinking lights. Like they're, they're, It hangs over the middle of the intersection, right in the middle, and it blinks. And my car was fine with it until right as I approached the intersection and did a forward collision warning on me. But I'm guessing it didn't count against me because see, forward collision warnings is 3.2 average. This is per thousand miles, I think, traveled. Maybe your score is tallied at the end of the day. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, how did it go up? I guess I've been less aggressive with unsafe following. I guess that, I, that really hurt my score. 5.7, unsafe following. But I was driving in New York City, remember? That's, that's part of the problem. It doesn't matter where you're driving. They don't care. I guess that's why they have a higher accident rate in New York City. Yeah, but we were in Boston yesterday, right? Right, the yesterday. Boston well, problems. this this includes ye yesterday. Well, Boston was tame. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, Boston is tame driving compared to New York City. It's not the same. New York City mm -hmm. is just in a place of its own. So, this is, makes sense, I guess, except for this, like I said, maybe it knows when there's a false warning. I don't know. Hopefully, because mm -hmm. a lot of people I've heard say online that they are never going to be able to get this beta because of their driving habits. Never. Because mm -hmm. also, remember... Look on the list here. Tesla does not count extremely fast acceleration. That's not counted. It's only these factors that are on here. Hard braking, aggressive turning, unsafe following, for any forward collision warnings, and then if the autopilot disengages because you're not paying attention. But you can floor it at every intersection. Floor and it. Yeah, every time, and it will not count against you. Because there's no, because like, we've done these in the past, right? For, this is using this new Tesla safety score because they're going to have an insurance product when we've done this when we plugged in the in the uh the monitor to obd2 it mm -hmm. did count high acceleration as well as deceleration i think if i remember correctly anyway yeah is that what it was okay so uh, that's it okay. bye